All right. This is going to be a very special week in the heart of Big D Country. Because doing one game, I will be turning 50. Yep. That's right. I'll be turning 50 before the Monday Night Football game. And so this will be the 50th birthday edition of the NFL pickup on the Big D down. This is the birthday celebration on the Big D down. It's time for week nine predictions on Big D country. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm trying to do two predictions recordings because I'm going to a group home and I don't know about the privacy situation there. So I thought I better do this now and, you know, so I could at least have it recorded. And then all I had to do is just boop, then now. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. So here we go. All right. So what are we going to see now? Oh, we got a ride. We got a couple of ride or die right off the bat. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, especially after what the Panthers did on week eight with the two field goal on the fourth uh, on the fourth quarter. Yeah. Oh, yikes. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to have to go with the Bears on that one. That's the Thursday the 9th. And I think, yeah, because tomorrow's the day, well, tomorrow's the day that I move on the 8th. Yeah. So it's, uh, I'm going with Bears all the way. Then the Colts. Played the my March Memphis Patriots, so of course you. I mean, anybody know who listened to the Big D don't know that I'm not going with the Patriots. Anybody in Big D country know the Colts is going to be the ride or die, easy. Ah, oh, we could breathe a sigh of relief because we could have some uh, double downs here. Okay, so. Now we're in the Sunday game at uh, 12 o'clock. Oh, by the way, the uh, another 8.30 game. Come on. Yeah, the 8.30 game was the Colts uh, Patriots, the one that the, the Colts were, the ride or die team. Okay. Now we're going straight to the 12 p.m. game, uh, 12 p.m. games until the afternoon games. Uh, the Browns versus the Ravens. Um... Both teams had a pretty good on on that week. Uh, yeah, both teams had pretty good on week uh, week nine. So I'm going to say, oh, this is going to be tough. I'm going to say the Ravens going to be the head and the Browns going to be the tail. Okay. This one is also going to be tough because both teams have been doing pretty good during the past couple of weeks here. Uh, I'm going to say that the uh, this is the game between the Packers and the Steelers. I'm going to say the... Uh, I'm going to say the Packers will be the head and Steelers will be the tail on that one. Okay. 49ers, Jaguar. 49ers have not been so lucky at the well, as of late, so... 49 is going to have to be the tail, and the Jaguar is going to have to be the head. Saints, Vikings. Saints have been on a roll, but so have the Vikings, too. This is going to be hard. This has been really hard for the double downs. My God. This has been really hard. This is week 10 on my birthday week. Anyway, I'm going to go with Saints the head, Vikings is the tail. There you go. Saint the head, the Vikings is the tail. Ride or die, ride or die. I want the Texans to beat the Bengals. Ride or die. I just did the after Malachi tried to ruin my segment, my most popular segment on on uh, in Big D country on the Big D zone, which is the NFL pickup. Uh, you got to talk to you got to talk to Malachi Chief Justice. I mean, you really do. You really got to talk to him. He's following my segment. 
But anyway, um, so now it's definitely going to be a ride or die with my one of my official teams now, because I'm deep in the heart of Texas. Anyway, <sighs> another ride. Okay, this is a couple of ride or dies here. Titans versus the Buccaneers, but. Thankfully, the Buccaneers haven't been doing too hot, but I don't want to jinx it. But who knows? Somebody from the team might be listening to my podcast. So, but I'm still going with Titans all the way. Yeah, I'm buying the farm with the Titans. <sighs> okay, no. No, 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 no. The first afternoon game, the the three o five game, is the Lions versus the Chargers. I refuse to pick because both teams I do not like. I do not care for the Lions, and I do not care for the Chargers. So I refuse to pick that game. That will be a refused pick. That is not going to be on my docket. Okay. Oh, you know, after the embarrassment that the Cardinals already had on week number nine, there is no way, there is no way, unless they, they watch film on the Falcons, there was no way they could ever come back from a zero to whatever the score was last week. There was no way. There was no way. So uh, this week, I'm going to go with Falcons being the head and Cardinals being the tail. Definitely be in the tail because that was brutal. That was absolutely a massacre that would happen on week nine. All right, okay, so this is definitely going to be easy with the uh, the uh, the heads and the tails on this game. So this one was a 325 game. Uh, the Cowboys versus the Giants. I'm going to say. The Cowboys is dead, and because the, the Giants lost the last week, they're going to be the tails. Uh-oh. Another ride or die affair. So, and it's still 325. The Seahawks will be facing the, the worst team name in the history of the NFL. I'm talking about the stupid Commanders. Seriously, you should have picked a different name, a scarier name than Commander. Why not the Monsters? Or why not uh, Why not something scary? The Commanders? Uh, anyway, I'm picking the Seahawks ride or die. That's a definite ride or die. Okay. Primetime action. Seeing the, the team that got lucky the last week uh, versus the Jets. So, I'm going to go easy. I'm going to go the Raiders will be the head and the Jets will be the tail on the primetime action on Sunday, November 12th. My 50th birthday. Yes. My 50th birthday will bring you the Broncos versus the Bills. Broncos will be the tail. Yes, I said Broncos will be the tail. And the Bills will be the head. And that's the 715th on my birthday. On my 50th birthday. And I don't care what nobody said. I will be a senior. They changed it to 55. Between 55 to, I guess, 60 something. Then next thing you know, they're going to try to just change it to 60 to 70. To, I mean, they change it. To, but people who are African-American and different other races, it's, it's, it's hard to make it to 50 at times. It's just, just so hard. Oh, I, I, I'm just as surprised that with even all, all my problems that I have now, that I, that I wind up making it to 50. I mean, pre-diabetes. Uh, 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 abdominal her uh, hernia, uh, all my mental problems, sleekly blind, part deaf at times. How am I still standing? How am I still standing? I'm still standing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still standing. Anyway. Uh, 
Anyway, that's week nine of the NFL pickup, y'all. This is the home of the best uh, citizens of Big D uh, and um, the internet today in Big D country. And by the way, I don't know when I'm going to uh, do a special program, but I'm going to be doing a special testimony for the Wood Group, uh, thanking them and giving them a uh, medal of freedom uh, for saving my life. And, you know, even in the midst of uh, a month of hell, and I had about four panic attacks that month, uh, that month. But, you know, they really say they really saved my life, though. I will be doing a special ceremony uh, for the Wood Group, thanking them for saving my life. So, there you go. My special birthday week on the NFL pickup on the Big D, though. Peace.